The Richard L. Tucker Leadership and Service Award. This one recognizes an individual who has contributed significantly to the advancement of the CII mission. We've talked a bit about the mission over the past day and a half and how important it is to CII. They also have contributed to the success of CII as an organization. This award is named to honor Dr. Tucker, who personally led the effort to create CII in 1983 and who served as the first director of CII from its inception until his retirement as director in 1998. Before I announce the, re the recipient of this Tucker Award, it's noteworthy to mention that this individual received nine nominations from some of the greatest practitioners in our industry. James C. Porter, Dr. Tucker himself, and Jimmy Slaughter, just to name a few. It should not come as a surprise that this year's Tucker Award goes to the father of PDRI, Arizona State University's Dr. Ed Gibson. Ed joined the ASU Dell E. Webb School of Construction in 2009 as program chairman and has held many leadership positions over the years, including director of the program. Prior to joining ASU, Dr. Gibson started the accredited construction engineering program at the University of Alabama. And before that, he was a faculty member at UT Austin for 15 years. Ed began his academic career at North Carolina State University and had several years of prior industry experience. He served as a U.S. Army officer, and he's a licensed professional engineer in Texas. Originally from Alabama, Dr. Gibson's educational background includes a bachelor's degree and doctorate in civil engineering from Auburn University and an MBA in engineering management from the University of Dallas. He's taught at the university level for over 30 years and has delivered more than 215 short courses to industry practitioners during that time, receiving awards for university and continuing education instruction. Ed was instrumental in developing a number of CII tools, the suite of PDRI tools, the Feed Matters tool, and the Integrated Project Risk Assessment tool, just to name a few. Dr. Gibson is an elected member of the National Academy of Construction and distinguished member of the American Society of Civil Engineers, among many other distinctions and awards. This marks the second time that Ed has received a Richard Tucker Service Award. In 2020, the National Academy of Construction named him their first recipient of a Tucker Award. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Gibson for his many achievements for CII and our industry. Um, it's great to be back here again. Um, thanks, Jamie. Uh, thanks, Todd. Uh, thank you, Mike Pappas, for nominating me for the award this year, and to others who've nominated me in the past, um, and to the membership of CI for this distinct honor, uh, which certainly is one of the highlights of my career. Richard Tucker hired me at University of Texas Austin in 1991. I was a young PhD graduate from Auburn, as Jamie alluded to. I worked beside him and was mentored by him for 15 years. Uh, to receive this CII award with his name associated with it is a tremendous honor and is especially significant to me. And as this is the second award with his name, it's uh, associated with it, it's uh, doubly special. Many people have contributed to me receiving this award. I mean, you get a, an award sometimes and 
It's because a lot of other people have been there behind you and beside you. Uh, first and foremost is my wife, Gail, who's here today. Um, she's been with me for the past 39 years. Um, I lost count um, many years ago of the number of trips I had taken for CII business. It was around 250 at the, that point uh, that were associated directly with CII. A lot of plane flights. Uh, Gail always joked that CII was the third party in our marriage. Um, and probably that was partially true. And Gail has attended about 25 CI annual conferences uh, since uh, we became associated, or I became associated with CI in 1988. Our children, Stacy and Gaines, are both engineers, and they attended a number of CI conferences. Um, our daughter, Stacy, actually was a committee chair at CI and spent 10 years in the industry as a project manager in the oil and gas business and is now in her third year of law school, so she's gone to the dark side. Um, our son, Gaines, is an aerospace engineer uh, working for Aerojet, and he's actually out at Edwards Air Force Base this week uh, testing a rocket motor. So I think they were, they were influenced by what we found or what they heard when they came to CI meetings. I want to th thank the hundreds of volunteers that I've worked with at CI over the years. I went back, it's really hard to count, but literally I've been involved with over 400 uh, industry professionals since 1988 at CII, and dozens of graduate students uh, who helped along this journey. Uh, some of my past teammates are here today, and I really appreciate it, and I've talked to most of you. If I mention a few, folks, specifically, I know I'm going to leave out some who are equally important, but here goes. Uh, special thanks to my CII co-principal investigators on research, Richard Tucker, uh, Carlos Caldas, Kristen Parrish, David Grau, I think he's here today, and Manir El Asmar, and some others that I worked with on research teams and other types of teams at CII, Jimmy Slaughter, Jerry Eink, Jim Porter, Dave Nash, Wayne Crew, and the late Ted Kennedy, and the late Bud Ahern. They were all supportive and encouraged me and were great mentors. And that's something you get when you participate in CI work uh, with the collaboration. It's nice to be welcome back. Um, CI is a remarkable organization. It's had significant impacts on the construction industry, not only in North America, but worldwide. I've worked on projects on seven continents as a result of CII. It was founded to create robust and rigorous new knowledge in an unbiased manner to support improved capital effectiveness by relying on close interaction between owners of facilities, engineering and construction contractors and academia, the so-called three-legged stool. We all, know, we all know that quality of results in knowledge creation is not free, and people and relationships and integrity really matter, and biases lead to biased results. I'm encouraged that the organization seems to be moving in a direction back toward its roots. It's only through the work that you, the membership, are willing to do that the organization is going to survive and thrive into the future. And it's been that way since the very beginning. I encourage each of you to get involved in an area that excites your passion. And in return, you will get so much back in terms of that effort and the relationships that it creates. I think that's really the secret sauce of CII. So again, thank you very much for this great honor. Thank you.